Okay, HC Ken recently posted on Talk Graphics uh, regarding setting up a custom palette tip. Uh, I'm not going to read the, the actual post, um, but he actually ended up with use a blend tool to make the palette gradient down here then use the eyedropper to set it into your palette and this is the palette he got these are all the name colors now I've got no problems with using those name colors but if you're going to be doing gradients like uh, in his actual image I would suggest it would be better use shades of a colour rather than just name colours because if you have a, uh, a linear gradient a, a linear gradient from one colour to another you would have to change both name colours um, so this is an alternative one of the things you can do in Zara that uh, I don't think many people appreciate is you can go into you, uh, where is it? Uh, insert from the content catalogue uh, let me just resize this it's too big uh, okay and I'm in the uh, Web, uh, classic websites, website themes, and uh, various themes, whatever you want. Uh, but you can also go down, 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 down. and you then get these color scheme. Colour scheme 1, colour scheme 2, colour scheme 3, colour scheme 4, colour scheme 5 and, and I'm going to import that colour scheme. Nothing actually happens but if you notice down here the colour line has now got colour th uh, theme colour 1, theme colour 2, light text, dark text page background and website backdrop um, which is quite handy um, so you can change those say if you just were to import this image that I've got to copy to my clipboard edit paste import original and there it is um, quite what it is probably somebody chopping up some food on the chopping block um, but what you can then do is you can go into the photo tool and at the right end here say palette from photo and suddenly things change so what I'll do is I'll delete that image but what you've got is you've got theme colour one with one, two, three, four shades you've got theme colour two with one, two, three, four shades you've got theme colour show me about theme colour three with one, two, three, four, five shades um, so um, it's a quick way of adding thin colours and shades of thin colours without messing around too much here I've got uh, a template that uh, I've set up myself which has um, three name colours um, and here they are if I click on that one that's thin colour one that's thin colour Two. That's theme colour three. And what I can do is import my own um, bitmap to use as a palette. 
So let's go and have a look at here. I've now set right. Let's see if it behaves itself now. Okay, so I've got that rectangle and it's got fill and if I go um, open up the color editor and select that fill, that's that yellow, if I select that one, it's also the same yellow. Select this one, it's a darker version of that yellow. And if I select this one up here, if I'm going to set this one up here, it's a lighter version of that yellow. And so is that. Um, similarly, if I do the same on these, they're, they're all the same. Okay. So I can then go, just select them all, arrange, create a bitmap copy. There we are. Create. Okay, so that's that. I'm edit, cut that. And I'm going to go to this themes, colors, expanded, which is basically exactly the same at the moment the themes colors but colors but i don't want to mess that around so what i'm going to do is control v that bitmap into the cut the camera and select palette from photo instantly you see that these three main colors delete that now that's in color one in color two in color three have changed and it only seems to work with three theme colors because you also have these theme color four theme color five and theme, uh, five but they don't give you any um, shades of the colour whereas the one first two three do um, that's text and that's contrasted text so that that's quite a good way of working so if you wanted to say um, select that you can then go into the theme colour three and you can quite easily change that and that will change all the shades of that colour Anyway, I hope this will help. Very confusing. This is egg. <laughs> Good night.